In our last video, we discussed best practices for sorting folders into an organized structure. After this video, you will be able to evaluate two approaches to create folders for a project, recognizing there is no one way to create folder structures, also called directory structures. One way to think about different methods to organize directories is to imagine you are playing a card game. In your hand, you have an assortment of cards that can be sorted any number of ways. You could sort them numerically, you could sort them by suit, or you could sort them by color. Most likely, the way you sort your cards will depend on which game you are playing. How you would sort a hand for poker would differ from gin rummy, for example. The point is, there is no one way to correctly sort your information. It depends on your needs and preferences. When deciding on a folder structure, it is important to think about what makes the most sense for your project. Take some time to map out your project early on. What information do you anticipate gathering? What types of files will you create? What folder structure will help you find files quickly, saving both time and frustration? Use your project map to create, name, and group folders in a way that matches your needs and those of the project. These needs may shift as you work, and it's okay to keep your folder structure general and flexible to accommodate your project as it matures. Just be sure to use it consistently. In previous videos, we discussed creating, naming, and organizing folders for a calendar project. Think about how you might approach those same calendar photos differently if your project was a scrapbook. You may find some similarities between the calendar project and the scrapbook project, but the folder structures will probably look very different. In planning your scrapbook project and its folder structure, first think about what type of scrapbook you want to create. Would it be a timeline of your dog's life? How about a scrapbook of your dog around the house? Or it might be a collection of photos of your dog during the winter holidays. For this video, let's assume the scrapbook will be photos of your dog around the house. What different categories would you include? You might consider a folder for your dog sleeping. You might also include a folder for photos of your dog with members of your family. You can even mix your original categories and include a winter holiday folder devoted to pictures of your dog during the holidays. Of course, this is just one way to conceptualize your scrapbook project. If, for instance, the scrapbook is designed as a gift to a friend or family member, the layout and folder structure may be completely different. Again, the most important aspect of creating and organizing folders for a project is for it to make sense to you. Mapping out the structure at the beginning of the project and maintaining consistency throughout will save you both time and frustration in the long run.